man now under arrest and charged with the murder of a Rumpke driver four months now after the driver was shot and killed while on the job in Roselawn. And tonight for the very first time his family is talking about that sudden loss with us. Only on WLWT, Brian Hamrick talked with the driver's sister. Brian? Yeah, Cherie, well, it's been a very difficult four months for the family of this victim. The suspect arraigned today, strangely, on what would have been the 31st birthday of the victim. Today's his birthday, he would be 31 today. As long as she can remember, her big brother always looked over her. Always taking care of us since we were little kids. Uh, Sometimes Rita Flores feels like he still does. Angel took care of everybody he loved. Even though the man named Angel was shot to death in March. It's been rough. It was typically March is our happy month. Now on March 11th, now we have to remember my brother died that day, so. Angel Flores was a Rumpke driver. He was on the job in Roselawn when he was killed. He grew up in Mason, was married, a father of two young boys. A family man. A family man, loved his boys so much, loved his wife. Um, loved his dog too. That was his thing. Well, the defendant purposely caused the death of Angel Flores by means of a firearm. Now, Cordrell Lovett, 36, is facing murder charges. Few details were released, but his long criminal history could be a clue, including arrest for aggravated robbery, among others. Good to know that they caught him, but there is the part of our family is we still want to know why what happened questions that are yet to be answered and even if they are will do little to repair the lives of those angel flores left behind yeah now here's some insights into the kind of crimes that uh love it the suspect has pleaded guilty to in the past in 2010 uh it was aggravated robbery broke into a woman's home held her at gunpoint robbed her in 2015 he held a gun to a victim's head uh, up near the uc campus he pleaded guilty to that as well he spent time in jail on both of those reporting live brian hemrick wlwt news 5.